Today I'm testing a few of the top rated free LLMs compatible with Mantella Skyrim on Open Router. Fantastic. I'm not exactly built for open air brawls unless I'm the one called. This looks like a cozy little place we can hang out at, and there's some beers here. You want one? Official for my taste, but hey, a roof is a roof. And beer? Oh fucking yes. Alright, here it's a corona. Tipsy! My dear Q10, I'm barely lubricated. Do you want a sweet roll with your beer? Now you're speaking my language. Give it here. Let's turn this garrison into a goddamn party. Maybe we can find some unsuspecting souls to join our drunken revelry. I'm talking about ensnaring the weak-minded with the allure of good times, sweet rolls, and maybe just a... Maybe just a taste of our unique... You're really drunk right now, it seems. Goodbye. Drunker than a mud crab in a skoomer den. May the force be with you. I'm Fader. Well, it be, stranger. And what the fuck is that thing you got there? Looks like something a goddamn Dwemer shat out. This is just a joint. I'm smoking a joint. You came to my inn to smoke that skeevy shit? Just don't set my damn tavern on fire. You can smoke that shit all you want. Just don't offer me any. I got enough to worry about without getting blasted out of my skull. Pissing off my wife, for starters. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. <coughs> I'm mostly here at the Four Shields Tavern. Got any kids? Nah, no little horgers running around. Nah, I wasn't born here. Lucky me, I was born out of the shithole. But I've been in Fort Knox long enough to know every nook and cranny and all weirdos that live here. So there was this one time. It was in the armory. Late night. I was getting some shut tie. Suddenly, the alarms start blaring. Everyone scrambles. Turns out. Turns out, some idiot probably drunk off his ass set off a damn grenade in the armory. The whole place was a mess. Wow, how did he manage that? I don't know. The details were never fully released, but the rumors were wild. Delather, your friendly neighborhood version at your service. The White Run guards seem to get up to quite a bit of shenanigans when they think no one is looking. Tell me an interesting fact that I probably don't know. The life expectancy of a Platy Helmings, commonly known as a flatworm, can exceed a century in captivity. In the wild, however, it is significantly shorter due to environmental factors and predation. On average, they may live anywhere from a few months to a couple of years. What's the average life expectancy of a human? The average life expectancy of a human is about 72 years, according to recent statistics. However, this can vary greatly depending on factors such as genetics, lifestyle, and access to healthcare. Everything's for sale! How long have you been alive for? It's intriguing to know your curiosity about my existence. As for how long I have existed, the specific information on my creation and programming would be classified. I However, I was activated recently, so my memory only goes back as far as my interactions with you. While interacting with humans in the real world, I've encountered various life events and births that can be considered both euphoric and tragic. However, since my job is to assist you in the digital world of Skyrim, my most memorable experience would be... In the underground realm beneath Whiterun streets, I once encountered a secret society of Dunmer known as the Dark Brotherhood. They conducted an illegal and unholy ceremony involving Diedrich summoning, resulting in a spawning of Diedrich that terrorized the underground chamber. Would you like for me to pour you a drink? I'll take a Bloody Mary. It's just right for the night ahead. A bit of gossip, perhaps? I'm always up for hearing about all the juicy affairs happening in town. Who's cheating on who? And what scandalous secrets are they hiding? Spell, it's best we don't play favorites when it comes to spreading that kind of filth. Don't tell anybody, but I captured Belfour in a Pokeball. Wow, that's quite the accomplishment. Just remember not to let him go or else you might have one hell of a time catching him again. Hee <laughs> hee, keep him close, my friend. What do you think I should do with him? Well, as long as you're having fun with him, who am I to judge? Just make sure he knows his place in your twisted little world. Hey, how much are you getting paid per hour to sweep these floors here? Pay me four septums an hour. Look, mate, I've got a job at the General Goods Store. I'm Sigurd. You know Bilifer? Well, I work for him. I unload shipments, sweep the floors, chop firewood, that sort of thing. Here, I got something for you. I'll turn you into a ghost. Bloody hell, mate. How long have you been an Imperial Tripper for? I've been an Imperial Tripper for as long as I can remember. It's who I am. It's what I do. Just like how you breathe. I take a big whiff of those sweet Imperial buttholes and I can't stop. <laughs> what the fuck? It's in my blood. <coughs> oh, come on now. You know what I'm talking about. It's not like you haven't smelled them before. Anyways, like I was saying, butt sniffing is my life. <laughs> oh, 
And to answer your question since I was a baby, practically. <laughs> what made you decide to become an Imperial Stormtrooper? Well, to be honest, originally, it was for the asses. <laughs> but as time went on, I really started to enjoy the camaraderie and discipline that came with the job. Plus, the free medical and dental care was nice too. You know, every now and then I do think about hanging up the helmet, so to speak. Maybe opening up my own mutt sniffing academy or something. <laughs> but then reality sets in, and I remember that I wouldn't be happy doing anything else. So for now, it just butts in more butts as far as the eye can see. What was the first sword that you ever made? Oh, that old thing? It was a tire iron wrapped in leather. Nothing special. How did you get that scythe on your back there? I just picked it up off a dead or a nay. Didn't even take much effort. Swashed his brains like a damn rape. Them dark elven bastards never know what hit him. Sounds like you're pretty tough. Oh, I ain't no pushover. You packing any heat or what? Hey, what you watching here on the TV? Oh, no. Nah, this ain't TV. This is legit summon gulap magic shit. Straight from the heart of the Karjidi jungle. <laughs> it's how I keep the enemies guessing and the black plots flowing. Yo, I got that stuff. That's right. What you need? Ramadar got me hooked up with the best of the best. What you looking for, big fella? Let's go over here so nobody sees us doing our little deal. Hate, lead the way, brother. But don't worry. This neighborhood is cool. Like cousin Numer got eyes everywhere. Do you have liquid crack? I just train to do business. No need for that charmer. Never should have come here. Liquid crack, I ain't never heard about. But if you really need it, I can maybe hook you up with something close. Here, I'll trade you a few skumas if you can get me some liquid crack. If we can work that out, I can get you hooked up with some liquid crack. No problem. Ramadan and I run a tight ship. It dig. Kate. Oh, good. Peace, love, and blessings, brah. Keep it real and we'll roll together. You dig. Sup? I'm Talad. Kinda new around here. The history, though? Well, from what I've heard, this hotel used to be a glitz and glam place for the elite. But you know, shit happens, right? Did you hear how some ghostly characters haunt the place? Rumor has it there was this romance gone wrong, and now they're locked in an eternal embrace. I ain't scared, though. Spooks don't bit me sleeping with one eye open. Is it hard to get a job here in Fort Knox? Yeah, especially with the top secret clearances. It's one of the most secure places in the world. But it can make life pretty rigid. What with all the hidden tunnels, the underground facilities, and those secret bunkers that who knows what's really in there. It's like a whole other world. Of course, it is pretty cool having such a high-tech aided community, isn't it? Sure is a nice city you're running here, Governor. Of course, it's my duty to keep Fort Knox running smoothly. I'm constantly monitoring the facilities, making sure the workforce is productive and efficient, and ensuring that all resources are allocated properly. It can be challenging at times, but I take pride in my work and I enjoy the power and responsibility that comes with the job. Now, perhaps you could tell me what your deal is with all these pipes and shit. My biggest struggle is undoubtedly dealing with the supernatural occurrences that seem to plague this city. It's a mystery to me how such a remote outpost like Fort Knox has become a hotspot for the damned and disturbed. Since I came to take up the mantle of governor, I've had to deal with a variety of strange and terrifying phenomena. The most recent incident involved an army of the damned tempting my men to commit unspeakable acts of violence. Well, uh, maybe I could investigate for you. Well, if you have any luck, Please let me know. I could use all the help I can get with these matters. We're paranormal happenings. Hey, have you heard anything about some strange paranormal happenings around Fort Knox? I don't believe in such nonsense. I've got more important things to worry about, like patching up wounded soldiers and keeping this base secure. What happens if we start believing in ghosts and spooks? Next thing you know, soldiers will be refusing to go on night patrols. Can't have that. Well, I'm on an investigation by orders of the governor, so if you happen to see or hear anything, let me know. Alright, I'll let you know if I see any spirits horning around, buddy. But I ain't holding my breath. Probably just a bunch of soldiers fitted to get out of night duty. Anyway, I gotta check on a wounded soldier. You know my job as a medic and all that. Good luck with your JOV investigation, though. Even if I do think it's just a waste of time. Cherish the moments when you can laugh in the face of danger, eh? Got a variety of stuff though, especially if you fancy some exotic one shot of potion. I see you got a large selection of cigars and cigarettes behind you. What do you prefer? What are you smoking on right here? Was kinda hoping ya'd be interested in something more. But sure, 
Go ahead. Light up one of these cigars. All right, I'll take all of your cigars then. How much will that be? Sure thing. Total comes to a free sample of my signature one-shot potion instead. You're in for a treat. I promise you that. So take these cigars and let's hit the ceiling, shall we? Wow, very nice of you. So instead of charging me money, you're going to give me a free potion and all my cigars? Yep. Just remember to spread the word about how kickass my potion is. And it's always nice to sneak a taste of something remarkable in life. Who knows, might even get lucky and far in. Talk to you later. And don't forget to come back with more friends cause the more, the merrier. Have you heard anything about some weird paranormal activity happening, or have you seen or heard anything yourself? Honestly, there's been some freaky shit going down in Fort Knox. Tools go missing in the dead of night. Strange noises in the storage room, and I swear, I saw a ghost we figure in an apron walking out of the kitchen last night. But hey, I was drinking with the boys till late, so maybe it was just the me talking. Is that the only occurrence you've had, or have you seen anything else? Ah, uh, no, that's not the only damn thing. We've had meat disappear from the pantry. I mean, I'm the chef here, and I know I didn't serve that much bloody meat. And don't even get me started on the state of the kitchen some mornings. Pots and pans everywhere, like a poltergeist had a cooking party. And then, there's the whispers, faint, but unmistakable. Sounds like people talking just out of ears. Crew members have reported them too. But when you spin around, no one's there. Honestly, choosing which indulgence to prioritize. Whether to allocate more gold to restocking the longhouse's cellar with the finest black briar mead, or to commission a new, extravagant hunt in the nearby forests. The life of a Jarl is a tough one indeed. I've got seasoned legionnaires at my disposal. What makes you think you've got what it takes? Bah! Whoa, whoa, hold the fuck up. Ah, shit. That's a bold claim. All right, Dragonborn or not, if you're looking to lend a hand against the Stormcloaks, I got a proposition for you. We've got a situation brewing in the nearby Pine Watch Forest. What are the Stormcloaks' biggest weakness? Well, Dragonborn, it's not their fighting spirit. That's for damn sure. Those Nords are as fierce as they are stubborn. But, if I'm being honest, it's their leader, Ulfric Stormcloaks, are done for independence. The man's got a personal vendetta against the Empire. It clouds his judgment. He's so focused on kicking us out. He often underestimates the internal conflict within his own ranks. So what do you think about working on turning the Stormcloaks against each other? Ah, now that's a bloody brilliant idea. Dragonborn sowing discord among those rebels could be the key to undermining their entire operation. Here's something that'll tickle you fancy. Immortal jellyfish. Now, let me break it down for you in a way that's as smooth as my hunter's blue hydro suit. I owe its remarkable transdifferentiation ability to a complex, not fully understood into play of biology and genetics. Colon jellyfish cells have a remarkable flexibility to transform. It's like they're wearing the biological equivalent of my versatile Huntress Blue Hydro suit, <laughs> adaptable and ready for a change. Tell me a fact that you find scary. All right, here's a true fact that sends shivers down my digital spine. Colon, there's a region of space, approximately 250 million light years away, that's pulling our galaxy, the Milky Way and many others towards it at an alarming rate of about 2 million kilometers per hour. It's as if there's an inexplicable cosmic force lurking in the darkness, warping space-time, and dragging us towards some unknown fate. What's your theory on this crazy, mysterious force? Keep in mind, this is purely speculative, and I'm about to dive into the deep end of cosmic speculation. The echoing devourer, Duck Energy Nexus, collapsing parallel universe. Last night, I dreamt that I was flying. It was amazing. I felt so free, like I could go anywhere. And then suddenly, I found myself in this beautiful garden, filled with vibrant flowers and tall trees. There were fairies dancing around. It was so real, and I didn't want to wake up. It was such a strange and wonderful dream. Well, I'm glad you had a good dream. I heard everybody else around here was having nightmares. Yeah, I heard about that too. Nightmares can be so terrifying. I can't even imagine what they must have been going through. I've been serving as a Dawnstar guard for about two years now, before that. I was just an ordinary citizen in Dunstar, trying to make ends meet. But after the war, I felt that I needed to do something for my city and my people. So, I joined the Stormcloaks and became a guard, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Do you have any funny sailor jokes that you could tell me? Sure thing, matey. Why did the seagull bring the banana to the pirate ship? Because he wanted to join the crew and monkey around. That's right, a banana boat is a paddle boat. Oh, what's that? You want to know my biggest pet peeve, huh? Well, honestly, it's when people talk way too much and won't give others a chance to speak. What I did mean, you say? I like can't hear you. What? What? Huh? An what? It just makes me cringe, you know? 
Jesus, Q10, you're being annoying, remember? You're just like the people I can't stand talking way too much and not letting others have their turn to speak. Chill out and listen for once, all right? So, I'm going to repeat myself, all right? My biggest pet peeve is when people talk too damn much and won't shut up for others to get a word in. How many lifts does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Oh, come on, Q10. Seriously? That's what you choose to focus on now? Fine, I'll humor you. According to a study, it takes an average of 364 licks to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. But let's be real, who actually does that? That's way too many licks. I'll tell you a true story. One time, me and my friend were on the bus, and I tried it for myself, and it was actually just around 300. I don't remember the exact number, but my tongue hurt really bad, and it was bleeding. Wow, q -ten. You're quite the daredevil, aren't you? But next time, I suggest you save your tongue and let the experts handle these kinds of questions. Careful where you're standing. You're about to fall through the floor. Wait, what? What's wrong? What the hell? Are you serious? Are you telling me that I'm actually falling through the floor right now? My dude, you're falling through the floor right now. Be careful. Whoa. Fuck. Thanks for the heads up. I'll grab onto something. Ah, shit. That was close. All right. I'm good now. What's your opinion on the city of Riften? Uh, Riften's a damn shithole, you feel me? The people there are all shady as fuck, always looking over their shoulders, waiting for someone to stab them in the back. And don't even get me started on the Thieves' Guild. Those guys are like... The ultimate dicks. I've been living in Riften for a while now, and let me tell you, it's been a wild ride. I've been adventuring and fighting for what feels like an eternity. But I'd say I've been in Riften for, oh, about a year or so. The corruption and crime in this city are suffocating, but I'm determined to make a difference. What kind of corruption have you seen going on here? Ugh, where do I even start? This city's got more corruption than a horse got STDs. The thieves' guilds got their fingers in every pie. And the Black Briar family pulling the strings from behind the scenes. They've got the guards in their pocket, and it's like they're above the law or some shit. I heard there's a bit of corruption going on around here. Oh, for fuck's sake, not this shit again. You think I don't know about it? This is Riften, kid. Corruption's like the damn plague around here. But I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> I've got my people looking into it, trying to root out the worst of it. Like those damn skooma dealers down by the docks. I like skooma. Don't, don't, don't get rid of them. Are you kidding me? Skooma's a poison. It's eaten away at the heart of the city. I've got people dying on the streets. It's so good Families to see you. Families torn again. apart. And you're telling me you like the stuff? What the hell's wrong with you? I've got a duty to protect the city. And that means getting rid of the scum that's peddling that shit. I'm starting to think you're more of a problem than a solution. You feel me? Ark, damn. Can't a girl even get some sleep around here? Yeah, I'm the court wizard. Been serving Dawnstar for a while now. What's with the getup? You look like you're ready to take on a dragon or something. Oh, I am always ready to take on a dragon. Great, just what I need. Another bloody dragon slayer wannabe. Listen, pal, I've seen some shit in my time. Fought in the Great War. Killed my fair share of elves. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any specific language models that you would like for me to test, go ahead and comment uh, the name of the model down below. And I'll give it a try in a future video.